Welcome everyone to Century Bowl in Waterford for the exciting first round action of the Bowling Showcase Challenge Century Bowl region. I'm your host Mark Martin and I want to thank you for joining me for this very exciting series of matches. We started the challenge with 16 teams representing various bowling centers and groups from around the Metro Detroit area. These 16 teams, they're divided into two regions named for the host centers for this year's challenge, Mary Bowl in Livonia and right here at Century Bowl in Waterford. Eight teams compete in each region and then the winner of each region will play against each other in the Bowling Showcase Challenge Final and a champion will be crowned. Now as you know, Woodland Lanes emerged as the winner of the Mary Bowl region and they are eagerly awaiting their opponent. Who will that be? We'll have to wait and see. So let's take a look at the eight Century Bowl region teams. These teams will go head to head in Baker format, single game elimination. Each bowler on a team bowling one frame, then the next team member taking the next frame and so on. Now at the conclusion of the fifth frame, the teams are gonna swap lanes and continue to finish the match. At the end of the match, our winning team will move into the next round of the regional competition and await the winners from the other first round matches. So we start with eight teams in the region, then four, then finally the winner of the last match earns the right to represent Century Bowl in the final season ending championship match against Woodland Lanes. 16 teams, two regions, one bowling showcase champion. So let's take a look at today's matchup. Our final bowling showcase first round match features Five Star Lanes against newcomers Astro Lanes. Five Star Lanes, they come into the competition with a heavy duty lineup and Astro Lanes, they make their first ever bowling showcase appearance with a pin crushing lineup of their own. These two teams will battle it out for the final spot in the semifinal. Should be an exciting and entertaining match. So there you have it. Helping me call all the action is Women's Series standout and former Team Canada member Robin Orlikowski. I'm going to move into position lane side, you know, get a little bit better view of the action. We'll be right back with the start of the match after these messages on Bowling Showcase. professional tournaments. We won a lot of tournaments worldwide. I mean, uh, we won more in the last 10 years worldwide than any company. We, we make good bowling balls and we, and good players use our bowling balls because they can win with them. Hi, I'm Jennifer Franz, the general manager here at Century Bowl, and I'd like to welcome the Bowling Showcase. Take it away, Mark. So here we are in the fourth week of Bowling Showcase Challenge here in the Century Bowl region. We have a very special guest in the audience, my mother. My mother is the one that got me into bowling when I was a young lad. My mother and dad bowled all their lives, and uh, I'm really thankful she's here with us today. So let's talk about the match. We have five star lanes, a bold here in the match before, mm -hmm. or in the challenge before, right. and a brand new team, Astro Lanes. Just because they're a brand new team doesn't mean they don't bring a lot of experience to the to the match. And we've seen before where a That's brand right. new team has advanced. So exactly. I'm, I'm expecting good things out of both teams. That's right. So up on the left hand lane, five star lanes is on the left, Rick Schultz. Michigan Major Hall of Famer, Detroit Bowling Hall of Famer, high average 235. Oh up on the left-hand lane. Oh! oh no. And speaking of mothers, his mother is in the audience too, sitting right next to my mother. Yes. She goes to all his matches and records all of his scores frame by frame. Wow. She must have quite the catalog. I'm sure his, she does. Of his games. Oh no, missed it Oh, left. he missed, it. missed that 10 pin. Shoot. Okay, next up for the Astro Lanes team is Mary Franzoni. Mm -hmm. 
Her high game is 245. 154 average, high average. Seven pins, leaves the one, three, six spare. Pretty easy. So what do you think she should do? Well, there's two ways you can approach this. You can like stand left and throw right, or you can just pretend like it's the full rack and shoot at it. Like you would for a strike. Like a strike with the one, three pocket. Oh, okay, there you go. Perfect. Now up for the Five Star Lanes team, Marissa Lipansky. She's got a high series of 777. Seven. Hmm. Sounds lucky to me. That's what I said. <laughs> She's really, really would like to get an 800 series and been, has been wanting one for a long time. And her team was so positive ahead of time saying that they know it's coming soon. Big Great. strike for Marissa. Great shot. Now Mark Swain is up for the Astro Lanes team. Mark is the mechanic at Astro Lanes. And you know, when I asked uh, his owner, uh, Denise, to put him in, she turned to Mark and she said, and you're going to head it up. Nice. So she has confidence in him. She does. Oh. And a big strike for Mark. What a nice roll. Astro has an 11-pin lead. Both teams working on a strike. Roger Fulcom up on the left-hand lane for five-star lanes. Roger High average 231, number of 300 games. One of his accomplishments was in the All-Stars, back-to-back 300s. Nice. Throws a nice strike there. Like you said before, the Tomahawk 7. And That's he's right. totally got it out. I love... I love seeing the um, camaraderie between the teams and giving each other high five. This is a fun environment to be in. Oh, we'll get into that. And if you think about the location of these two centers, they're not that far apart. Yeah, They're rivals. only a few miles apart, so they're rivals. <laughs> they're out for blood. That's right. <laughs> Michael Churchill up for the Astro Lanes team on the right-hand lane. He is a guy that is very passionate about bowling. He's won a lot of medals in high school, and you can tell he's, he has a great game, and I expect great things out of out of his career. Right. Great shot there. Really, that, that, those revolutions he puts on the ball just kind of just <laughs> sends the pins a flying. So Pat Cusick, and if you recall from previous years, the year the Cubs won the World Series, he had a Cubs hat on. Today he has a Boston Red Sox hat on. So he's a, a baseball fan. He's a baseball fan, that's right. Nice. Big strike for Pat. Very nice. Another member of the Astro Lane staff, Joe Bader, works the counter at Astro Lane. He's got a high average of 231. Been bowling since he was the age of three. Yeah, he just, I asked him what he likes to do for fun. He said, I bowl and work. That's what I do. <laughs> I bowl and work and work and bowl. Yep. So he leaves the 369. 369 goose drank wine. Is that what that is? What did you call it? 369 goose drank wine. That's like <laughs> the old saying. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> so it was a little light in the pocket here. So I find this one's a little bit easier to pick up than the bucket if he had the five pin there. So uh, he had no problem hooking into it and picking it up. And he covers it up. Hey, the five-star lanes team has a two-pin lead now. Jim Grant, their anchor bowler, again, bowled with the five-star lanes team every year in this challenge. This is their third year in the challenge. He has an outstanding 56 300 games and 32 800 series. And this high series is at 852. Very nice. And he's a manager at Five Star. Great shot. Great shot. That really helps. Okay, now we're in the fifth frame. The Five Star Lanes team working on four strikes in a row. And the Astro Lanes team, 67 through three, spare up in the fourth. And the anchor bowler, Steve Doherty, up. His 
his dad got him started in bowling and really thanks him for that and said that as a child it kept him out of trouble. <laughs> well, let's see. Out of the lanes, into the alley. <laughs> uh, All right, so we got a tough spot here. Bowling is a great activity for youth bowlers, for adults. Yeah. Give them that activity. Misses that. Valent try there. Okay, so at the turn now, Astro Lanes, 92 through 5, 5 star. Had that nine count in the first frame and has four consecutive strikes after that. So they've got a nice little lead built up. We'll see what happens in the second half. What do you think, Robin, uh, about what's happened so far? You know, with Astro just trying to keep the ball in the pocket, um, you know, sometimes there's been some light hits here and there. So hopefully they can communicate and talk about what changes they need to make. And obviously five stars on a roll. And um, we'll just see what happens. That's right. So we'll be back right after these messages. Teams are going to switch lanes on Bowling Showcase. So Jimmy Grant, who works for Five Star, he was kind of put as the captain. And we had bowled together a couple years ago, and we bowled together for many years. And this is kind of the same crew just a couple different players. I just think it gives us a little bit of relaxation. We know what to expect. We know where we're at. Um, it's tough. It's one game. So any single frame can make the difference quickly. Throw your best shot. <laughs> Get some practice and throw your best shot. We like our chances. We think we got a good mix of uh, bowlers. We don't have a left-hander, which might put us at a disadvantage. But for the most part, I like our chances. We got a really good group, really strong top to bottom. Bowl your best, bowl your best. You're gonna need it. The hug pickup, the home run swing, the drum major high step, the genuine joy, the unforgettable party, the food, the friends, the original social network, no matter who you are. It's always a great time. Grab your family, find a friend, and go bowling. We all work at Astro. So she wanted an all-employee team, and that's how we ended up. Other seasoned players, we're going to pray a lot. And hopefully, Mary can start us off right. Well, if you ask Joe, pretty slim. <laughs> but the rest of us, we figured that everybody's been through this one time and we'll try to do our best. That's all we can do. Throw one ball at a time. One word to describe the team and why. Oh, a bunch of fun-loving guys. That's what we're here for. Have a good time. We could be a sleeper. You never know. Okay, here we are in Bowling Showcase. The final first round match, the second half of the game. We've got Astro Lanes and Five Star Lanes. Five Star has a pretty commanding lead right now. Astro had that open frame in the fifth, gave them 92 in the fifth frame. Um, the Five Star Lee five-star team working on four strikes. So first up, Mary Franzoni for the Astro Lanes team on the left-hand lane. Mary, 154 average bowler, and she's a project manager. Oh, the double pinochle. Four, six, seven, ten split. So also known as the big four. Four. So in this situation, you know, you could try to go for it. However, it's quite a difficult split to pick up. So if you at least get two, if you can squeak three out, that's great. Just go for the pin count and help your team out. And that's what she did. So 100 through six frames, a $1 bill through six frames for 
the Astro Lanes team. Rick Schultz now up for the Five Star Lanes team on the right hand lane. If you recall back in the first frame, he left that 10 pin and kind of missed it. Yeah. But maybe that pumped up the rest of his team. Yeah, his team stepped up for him for sure. All right, a little weak into the pocket, seven wiggles. Leaves the seven pin. Overall, not a bad shot. Talked to Rick before the match, and he is just a very fun person, always smiling. Great to talk to. He is. And he easily covers that seven pin. So Five Star has a 38 pin lead through six frames. Astros coming up now, Mark Swain on the left hand lane. They're working on an open frame. Probably need a strike really bad here. He got one back in the second frame. Yeah, a strike would really help. Well, fell off his shot a little bit there, but Buddy. he has a really nice roll to his ball. Well done. Trying Very to pick nice. his team up. That's a good job. Five star lanes, Marissa Lepansky strike back in the second frame. Here she are, is in the seventh frame of this match with five star with a 38 pin lead. She's an occupational therapy assistant, and she's very proud that from her dad's side of the family that she's the first one to graduate from college. And not just one degree, she has three degrees. Three degrees. Ooh. All right, so that one came in a little high, leaving the 610. She's going to change to a spare ball, so it goes a little straighter, go stand left, throw it right across the lane through the middle part of the lane. Looks like she's breaking her wrist a little bit too, along yeah. with that. I like how she's using her thumb as an indicator for direction of where she's gonna throw the ball. Good cover by Mary, or Marissa, I'm sorry. Mike Churchill up on the left-hand lane. Astro now working on a strike, got a chance to cut into the lead with a strike right here. Mike, high average 218. He's an accomplished high school bowler, and as an adult bowler, he's really, really wanting to win a state title. I think Ooh. that's the goal of every bowler. And I, I'm still waiting for one of myself. The light leaves okay. a two pin. All right. So it should be a relatively easy spare to pick up since it's somewhat in the middle part of the lane. Move a couple boards right on his feet. Same target? Yep, same target, maybe about three boards or so. Should be able to convert it. He's gonna take his uh, strike ball there and hook at it. And easily cover it. No problem. You know, you, you talk about spares being so darn important and it's just, a, it, it's true. I mean, spares, can you say? Well, how many times have you bowled a tournament or seen, even the pro level, where someone didn't make the cut by one pin? Right. So every pin matters, right. and trying to get as many pins as you can and keep clean. Roger Fulcom on the right-hand lane. Nice. Throws a strike. 36 pin lead for five star through eight frames. Joe Bader coming up on the left-hand lane for Astro Lanes. Thanks to Denise Penny Breen, the manager at Astro, for putting this team together. We greatly appreciate it. Similarly with Five Star with Rick Mosheri. Appreciate their support of Bowling Showcase. All Strike right. for Joe. Joe redeemed himself from the last frame. Well he, done. He did. So Pat Cusick up on the right-hand lane. This is a, a foundation frame for the Five Star Lanes team. Again, they have a 36 pin lead. Strike here would extend the lead to 46. I asked him, what do you like most about bowling? And he's just said, just overall, he enjoys the game, but it's also a love-hate relationship. He says it's a very humbling game, but he enjoys it. It's a lot of fun and he enjoys spending time with friends. Big strike by Pat. Pat's the one that organized this team. We appreciate that on behalf of Five Star Lanes. Pat does work at Five Star, so we greatly appreciate their support.
Steve Doherty for the Astro Lanes team, the anchor bowler. They're working on a strike. They have a max score of 200. So here's the time for Steve to strike. And the pressure's on. Oh. And he throws a nice strike there. Right before it hit the pins, you could tell he liked it. And it was more just like, just carry, please carry. That's right. Nice shot by Steve. In the summertime, when weather's right, he really enjoys bass fishing up north. Nice to be out on the lake. Some people even like it in the wintertime. And a big strike. Another great ball by Steve. Ice fishing is a, uh, is a pretty uh, popular in the state of Michigan, too, in the wintertime. Yeah. I think I would only do it if I was in a shanty, though. <laughs> I'd have to be in a shanty with a nice heater and <laughs> something else to keep me warm. <laughs> a blanket? Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> oh. Little high, 199 final score for Astro. Very nice job. Jim Grant coming up, manager at Five Star Lanes, the anchor bowler at this point. He just needs to keep the ball on the lane and get a decent count to advance to the semifinals. And I think with his experience, it won't be an issue to do that. Okay, so let's see what happens. Just a little them. high trip to four nine. Big strike by Jim. They have a max score of 246. Which would be the second high of this um, century region. Oh, first, first round, yep. Right. They had a lot of good scores though. 215, 203, 255. He Another liked strike. that one. He liked that one better. <laughs> so in a traditional bowling sense, if we if he was bowling his his own game here versus a baker game, this would be a prime opportunity to try a different ball on his fill ball. Because they already have the match one, so you might as well go see what other ball in your bag would do. Um, so that if you need to change balls in the future you can. But again, in this case, he just throws the same ball and looks at it. 246, 199, Five Star Lanes moves on to the semifinals. Great match, wasn't it, Robin? Oh, that was good. That was, these are all so much fun to watch and seeing people strike and have a good time and high five each other, it's just, this is what bowling is all about. You know, in the fifth and sixth frame, Astro Lanes, that's what did them in, those two open frames in the fifth and sixth. Yeah. They got out of the gate pretty decent. They finished, they closed well. Middle of the match, the fifth and sixth frame just was kind of a killer. Yeah, it's uh, hard when you have those big splits. It and, is. And uh, in this quick format, trying to stay clean is, is your best option. Right. So we'll be back right after these messages on Bowling Showcase. Michigan State USBC provides tournament competition and recognition for men, women, and youth in Michigan. The championship events for this season include the Women's Championship beginning in February in Lansing, the Open Championship beginning in January in Grand Blanc, and the Youth Championship beginning in March in Granville and Comstock Park. These events are open to all members of the association based on gender and membership. Other events for higher average bowlers include the Youth Masters in November in Battle Creek, the Queens in April in Sanford, the Senior Masters for those over 50 in March, and Masters in April, both in Battle Creek. Pepsi Youth events take place in your league with qualifiers advancing to the state finals in May in Troy and Sterling Heights. Visit MichiganStateUSBC.com for entry blanks and more information on the Michigan State USBC.
Welcome back to Bowling Showcase. Five star, great 246 game there. Uh, what were your keys to victory? Well, it started with Marissa throwing that first strike. Once we got a strike, we got a few in a row. And it's always good when you follow one strike with another. That always helps. You guys threw a lot of strikes out there. Congratulations and good luck in the next round. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here we are. We've got this first round in the books. We have our semifinalists all set up. The match next week, Team Monopoly AMF Rose Bowl against Waterford, the new team. Um, you know, we had a great, exciting match this week. What are you looking forward to next week? Well, how did Monopoly do in their first... Um, uh, they first they beat the Lady Liberty team 203-145. Okay. And the Waterford team 255-187. to 187. All right, well... But I past performance doesn't necessarily predict true. future results. It does not. It does not. However... They need to step it up a little bit, if, I think, if they want to try to compete with. I mean, they had so many strikes this game. They did. So, um, did. just have fun. Okay. We'll be back next week on Bowling Showcase. Semi-finals start next week right here on Bowling Showcase.